Hello, today I'd like to show you how to do some basic configs on a server core and we're going to be, I'll be showing you how to change the date and time, configuring the host name, uh, configuring the TCIP properties, and enabling the remote administrator. So first, we want to, I want to show you how to change the date and time, and to do that, you just key in time, let me get my cursor here, time, date, CPL. And this will bring up just an ordinary GUI there of changing any Windows date and time. And if you need to change the time and date, you can change it right here. Uh, this one has already been set. And also you can change the time zone. And this time zone is correct for where I'm at. Okay, we've got that. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is change the host name. So let's display the host name. To do that, you just key in host name. Okay, the host name for this is win123. Now we want to change this, and we're going to change this to SCDC2050. And to do that, we do a net DOM space rename computer, all one word. And we got to give it the old computer name, which we displayed in the host name. So it's win123 currently. And so now we want to give it a forward slash. And a new name and colon SCDC 2050 and press enter. Okay, cursor. Okay, it'll come back and give us a prompt. If we want to proceed, you want to take a yes. Okay, and for this new name. To take effect, let's display it. Uh, we're still showing the old name, so what we got to do is restart the server core. And to do this in the command prompt window, you just do a shutdown forward slash R, and you'll get a message here that it Windows was shut down in less than a minute. I'm gonna do close. Okay, Windows is shutting down now. Now Windows is rebooting for us. As the server core continues to re it's coming back up now. And now it is ready for us to log on. And we'll make sure that you do these configs. Signed on as your administrator. So let me sign on as administrator. So we have rebooted, and now let's display, make sure the host name has been changed to the SCDC2050, and right there it is. Okay, now we want to change the IP setting. So first let's display them and see what they're set to. To do that, you do an IP config, space, forward slash, all. And you can make this window bigger. And you can also scroll in it. It's your typical command window. And right now the IP address is set to 192.168.1.201. We're going to change that. So let's go down here to our command prompt. And to change that, we need to key in net sh and right now I'm hitting enter key and 
and you can notice that it is changed to net sh uh, and to get the help you just key in a question mark and it'll show you the next part of that command and we're going to be doing an interface changing an interface and I'll hit enter and I'm going to be changing the IP version 4 interface okay and there I am and to continue I do a set address name is equal we're going to do the local area connection and that needs to be in quotes now the source going to be a static source equals static address now we want to give it the IP address and we're going to be giving this an IP address of 10.1.1.203 and now we're going to be setting the mask and just enter mask is equal to 255.255.255.255 zero and now we're going to set the gateway and we don't have a gateway so we'll just make it zero and we're going to give it a GW metric is equal to one okay notice that we're still in the net interface IP version 4 prompt and to get out of this, you just enter an exit command, hit enter, and now you're back at the command prompt. And now we want to set the remote administrator, and to do that, you net sh adv firewall set all profiles. Settings to remote management enable and hit the enter key and see if I've got an error here. Valid value was specified, so let's go back down here to this command prompt and use the upper arrow, which will display the last command I keyed in. Let's see here, net sh adv firewall set all profiles settings. Oh, misspelled remote, didn't I? And to get back, you've got to use your left arrow key. And this in here we don't need. Now let's see. Okay. We've completed the tutorial. I hope this has helped. Thank you for watching.